welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm Dwala. my name is gamo and to all my returning subscribers hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a sunset cut crease while i also give you a story time about dating a married man unknowingly so without any further ado let's move straight into the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe i'll see you guys at the end of the video or on my next one so first things first, I'm going to go in with my W Beauty Toner. This is from Woolies. Um, and I'm going to tone my face. So I now tone my face using my hands, guys, because I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's a vibe. I guess it's a vibe. I'm going to tone using this. Okay, so let's get into the story time. So guys, this uh, happened in 2016, 2017, I think. Yeah, 2016, 2017, if I've got the date on lock. I'm going in with my sunscreen. You know, the vibes already. I was still working at the call center as a sales consultant. And um, so what was happening is I used to travel via taxi, right? And I used to catch three taxis to get home. So the first taxi that I catch, I catch from Randburg to Johannesburg CBD, um, MTN rank to be precise. So um, at MTN rank, there's a place called Eslatleni, which means by the tree. Um, that's where I used to catch the taxi that takes me to Natal Spray Hospital. At Natal Spray Hospital, I connect and I catch a taxi that goes to my house house now, you know? So every Friday, what would happen is we'd sit at work and drink like after work, you know, like have after work drinks outside the work premises, you know. But on this particular Friday, I was not feeling it, you know, like I was like, mm -mm, I want to go home. So every Friday we either sit there and we drink, then after we drink, we go home, right? But when I get home, I had a friend that liked to go, we like to go to a place called Guapanzo. Guapanzo was like, if you've watched Project X, you know what banzo it's like when cars are passing or people are passing in the front of the yard of the house you think nothing is happening go to the back of the house that's where the party is at so i used to like i'm going in with this revlon rose glow mist i spray it on my hands now too because like i said you know so like i was explaining um guapanzo is like that kind of setup like when you get to the front of the yard you're not gonna even suspect that anything is happening at the back of the yard. At the back of the yard is where we at. That's where the jump is at. Like that's where the party is at. Yeah, well. So that was my vibes. On Fridays, I'm either at work drinking up a storm with my colleagues after work, or I'm at Banzos. But Banzos used to start like pretty late, like around six, uh, around seven, eight-ish, like is when we'd like to arrive. And all we did at Banzos, honestly was smoke weed and listen to hip-hop music like that's all i like went there for nothing else yeah, bomb? <laughs> so on this particular friday i decided that no man i don't feel like sitting at work i feel like going home refreshing and then going to banzos because you know standard procedure it's our culture that's what we do so then i go home i'm in a taxi from joe burke headed to sorry from randberg headed to Joburg, where i'm going to commute or to connect via Islati. So i have right. gone ahead and i've based my eyelids today we are working with modern dolls this is the coral palette i'm not sure what noctula wants us to do as the girlies since she's not making anymore um i'm gonna go with this red orange yellow and brown i'm gonna go in with my hermosa flow brush and i'm gonna go in with my first trans uh, my first transition color which is the brown just here yeah oh i don't know if this brush is the right brush it feels like it's a big Ooh, okay it's fine anyways I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not feeling that. So I'm going to go home, get ready to go to Banzo. I'll probably feel better when I get to Banzo because weed makes the world feel like a better place. Guys, if you don't smoke weed, start today. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Yeah, well. Okay, so on my way, okay, I go to, to the rank, right? This is a crazy story, guys, but it gets crazier. So don't worry. Um, 
I'm, I'm at the rank, I get into a taxi and the taxi is going from from Randburg to from Randburg to Eslachen, Lapa e Josie, right? Um, I'm sitting by the window seat and as I'm there, okay, the taxi goes, right? So the taxi goes and the taxi stops at the road. I'm going to go in with this brush. It's also from Homosa Floor. I'm going to go in with yellow because I feel like I should have used the yellow first. I forgot. Anyway, just to buff out the ends of the brown because you uh, uh, what is all this? Okay. So the taxi stops at the robot, obviously, because the light is red. This big car parks next to us. Well, the big car is also there at the robot, right? This car comes and pulls up next to us. It's your... I'm not going to mention the brand or the make of the car because <laughs> safety reasons. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Okay, this fancy car comes and it stands next to us. Like, guys, I like cars. So this nice, nice big car pulls up, you know, um, it pulls up next to us, yeah, well. Um, so I'm in the taxi, I'm staring at the car. I'm not staring at the people in the car because the windows were tinted, right? The windows were black, if you may. They were tinted. So I'm staring at this car and I'm just like, wow, this is a beautiful car. Like, this is a gorgeous car. Yeah, bo? Hi, okay, sharp. Um, the window rolls down. Yeah, bo? There's two gents in the car, in the front seat, obviously. What am I saying? Yeah, there's two gents in the car, right? Um, this gent on the... The gent who's sitting on the left-hand side is like, hi. My friend says, hi, yeah, bo? I'm like, hi back. My window was open too because it was hot. Yeah, well, I'm like, hi too. Yeah, well, he's like, um, so this guy starts talking. The driver starts speaking. He's like, hi, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going home. He's like, uh, okay, don't you want us to give you a lift? I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. He's like, no, come on. We're not going to do anything to you. Yeah, well, I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah, well, the robot opens, guys. And then the, the taxi drives off. Yeah, well, the taxi drives off. We stop again. If you know John Smarts, the road here, John Smarts, ne, um, you, you, there's quite a lot of robots yeah, about that side. So the taxi stops again at this, this at this other robot, um, kind of like John Smarts. And these guys pull up again, you know, next to us again. And this guy's like, come on, um, get off, like, we'll drop you off, we're not gonna do anything to you, like, you can trust us, we're good guys, I'm like, no, like, I'd never do that, I'm fine where I am, yeah, bo? he's like, please, please get off, I'm like, no, I can't, then the robot opens, then finally, they leave me alone, right, the taxi goes, I, I get off uh, where I'm gonna go connect my taxi, right, which is Eslachle, when I get off Eslachle, I'm walking down, this, I feel like someone tapping me, I'm like, I look back, I'm like, I feel like I just saw this nigga, you know? I'm just like, he's like, hi, sorry. I'm like, yes. He's like, um, sorry, you were the guy, I'm the guy from the car that was chasing you or driving after the taxi you were in. I'm like, so you guys drove from Randburg to Johannesburg with me? He's like, yeah. I'm like, why would you do that? He's like, I really needed to talk to you. I'm like, well, that is crazy. What is up, Bebo? He's like, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Gamo, and you? For the sake of the story, <laughs> cause eh, for the sake of the sorry, for the sake of the story, we're gonna call this guy Sbu, right? Sbu is like, my name is Sbu. Um, I'm like, okay, hi Sbu. He's like, dude, like I I could not hold it. You were so gorgeous, yeah, boom. I'm like, I oh, thank you, oh, thank you. You know, and he's like, um, where are you going? Yeah, well, I'm telling him. I'm like, I'm going to Gatla Hong and you. He's like, um, he mentions a suburb that's close to, like, Gatla, like, remember we're in the townships, right? He mentions a suburb that's close to my hood, you know. He's like, um, and it makes no sense for you to go catch a taxi. Let's drop you off. I'm like, no, I don't trust you guys and... I don't think it's safe for me to do that. He's like, okay, sharp, it's fine, I understand. Give me your number, I'll hit you up later on. I'm like, cool, no problem. I give him my number. Right? Right. 
and then um okay i go i get home i get ready the, like i said there's this friend of mine that like we were just party buddies honestly speaking she was not really like my friend like that we were just party buddies so i get home i get done with changing and dressing and freshening up and whatever and i hit her up i'm like dude i'm ready her name is bridget i'm like bridget i'm ready bridget is like okay i'm coming through bridget had just knocked off from work as well she comes she picked me up i wasn't driving at the time remember so we used to use bridget's car to go to i wasn't driving at the time so we used to use bridget's car to go to places like yeah well okay bridget comes through she fetches me and we go to banzo right we get to banzo it's a jump child banzo was always a jump like there was no way you're gonna go to banzo and not have fun like it's always a jump you know and fun is where you make it really guys like honestly so we get to banzo and it's fun it's fun it's fun yeah well this guy calls me he's like hi where are you i'm like i am at banzo's he's like where's that i'm like it's here in the hood he's like okay i'm with my friend can we come through i'm like yeah sure he's like okay he's like okay cool i'm coming they come with his friend like i said Banzos is like project x vibes when you're in the front yard you're not seeing anything or in the front of the house you're not seeing anything wait until you get to the back you're going to collapse like you're going to die if you don't like those kind of vibes so this guy gets there and he's like yo what is going on here child i'm like yeah these are the vibes so this is what i'm doing He's like no there's no way i'm gonna survive this let's change location i'm like mm -mm, you came to me you said you wanted to chill with me this is where i'm chilling if you don't want to chill here i ain't leaving he's like okay shop then i'm gonna leave i'm like bye then he leaves right <laughs> then he leaves um saturday morning okay we party we party with bridget then saturday morning he calls me he's like hi i'm like hello he's like what are you up to yeah well it's around like nine in the morning i'm like guys this happened in a space of i think five weeks i remember everything every single detail because i had fucking fallen like anyways um he's like what are you doing yeah well i'm like uh i'm laying in bed currently nursing my hangover and yourself he's like yeah i went out yesterday too and i'm kind of hungover too so let's kill the hangover i'm like sure He's like, what do you do to cure your hangover? I'm like, I'm going to the Shisanyama with Bridget actually later on at four today. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. He's like, okay, let's do this. Let me and you hang before you and Bridget hang. So I'm going to fetch you so you and I can hang up a bit earlier. I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. Indeed, he comes like around 12. He fetches me and we go to the very same shisanyama that bridget and i were gonna meet at so i told bridget that she'll find me there i'm just gonna go there with this guy then when she decides to wake up she'll find me there because bridget was such a cry baby guys like her hangover takes like a week to recover <laughs> so i'm like okay cool then we go there we get there we're chilling we're chilling he buys me drinks he buys himself drinks this guy was such a cheap skate he bought me three savannas i was like Lapa, nothing about him says he's married. First of all, he's wearing LV head to toe. He's wearing loafers. He's wearing, you know, those tight skinny pants, like formal pants, but they made them very skinny, right, to fit them. And then he's wearing an LV belt and a shirt, and he's tucked in the shirt. He's just giving fuck boy vibes. Like, he's not giving anything about commitment. He's not giving anything about married. I think right now, married men are represented well. Like, you can see that this man is married, and even if he's wearing a ring, like, you can say it's okay that he dresses like that because he's married. At least there's a sign on his finger you know this guy at the time because he wasn't even wearing his ring nothing gave me married vibes like it just gave me fuck boy to be honest and he was sexy like he was tall dark handsome like it just is it it just alba or il it just alba it just alba vibes <laughs> he was like that like he was <gasps> no ways that man was sexy he was so sexy and if you were me please you were also gonna fall for him but the thing is i really didn't know he was married anyways uh shop we're sitting there we're drinking we're drinking we're drinking we're drinking it's nice it's fun it's vibes so we're talking and you know we're asking he's asking me what do i do for a living i work for an insurance company you know whatever whatever i'm like what do you do and he's like oh i own um he's like he owns um 
a car dealership yeah well i'm like oh nice fancy fancy you know he's like no yeah i own a car dealership um what 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 well, okay shop we sit there we sit there bridget is supposed to come at four o'clock guys bridget doesn't show up i'm like you know what i don't think bridget is coming and i don't want to be here like anymore it's getting so late i really want to go home now yeah boom well, he's like okay cool let me go drop you off i'm like great let us go I had like the pressure of having to do my left eye and my left eye dribbles me every time so I had to do that off camera anyways I'm like drop me off at home because Bridget is definitely not coming and I'm tired of being here now like we've been here since what time you know and indeed he drops me off we go we go to my house actually before he drops me off we chill at my house guys we got to my house at 10 o'clock he left at 2 in the morning okay we were sitting outside in the car um, chatting like you know how you chat with someone for hours and hours and hours on end like you know when when the relationship is still on fresh but obviously at the time we were not an item okay we had not confirmed anything we had not confirmed anything we were not an item at the time so we just sat in the car and we were chit-chatting away chit-chatting away chit-chatting away like until 2 a.m okay and then this guy is like okay i'm gonna leave now i'm like yeah no rather rather you leave because We've been sitting, you know? Sharp. Then Sunday comes. This guy says nothing to me the whole day, the whole Sunday. Like, he says absolutely nothing to me. And I am a firm believer, like, there's no chance that I'm going to text the man first. Like, if you're courting me, babes, I'm not going to I'm not gonna text you first. Like, even if we like one another, one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to text you first. Like, I was a strong believer of that. Like, I really was. Like, there was no chance I'm going to text this guy first. So, I also keep quiet. He's quiet. I'm quiet. Welcome to the silent games. Let the games commence. <laughs> you're quiet. I'm quiet. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, but he's quiet the whole day on Sunday. Uh, I'm also quiet because... I'm not texting you first, babe. Like, no matter what happens, I'm not doing that. Okay, sharp then. Monday um, morning, he, he calls me, like, around 6 a.m. Like, I'm already on my way to work. He calls me. He's like, hi. I'm like, hi. He's like, yo, you can keep quiet. Reverse psychology, gaslighting me. You can imagine. He's like, yeah, you've been so quiet, bruh. I'm like, oh, you've been quiet too. He's like, I got so sad this morning when I noticed that you didn't even send me a text. I'm like, I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, bruh, like, you just kept quiet. I'm like, no, you kept quiet first. Like, you're the one that's supposed to text me first. I mean, if you want to talk to me, you text me. He's like, so you don't want to talk to me. I'm like, I, I'm, I, like I don't like these kind of things. And I'm going to be, like, a bit rude to him. So I, I just hope he stops right now because... The next thing that's going to come out my mouth is not going to be nice. <laughs> okay, sharp. Then he's like, you know what? I'm so sorry. Yesterday after church, I was so tired. When I got home, I literally slept. And um, I woke up this morning to no text from you, he says to me. I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm sure you're feeling well rested. You're ready for the new week. Whatever. He's like, I am. But I want to make it up to you. Can I buy you lunch? I'm like, no problem. He's like, what time is your lunch? I'm like, my lunch is at, I think my lunch was at 2 at the time. Yeah, like, I'm like, my lunch is at 2 o'clock. He's like, okay, I'm going to bring you the lunch. I'm like, no problem. Indeed. Indeed. My lunch comes. He comes with the lunch and we, we share the lunch. We chill together in the parking lot at work and we eat the lunch. He has his own, obviously. And we're just sitting there talking, you know. Okay, lunch is over. He goes back to work. I go back to work. Yeah, well, I think he had an office around my area. I'm not sure, child, because this guy was always around. You know, he was always available. Anyways, for the rest of the week, this guy is consistent. He calls me in the morning, in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So in the morning, he'll call me like just as I get to work around like when my seven, like half past six to seven, he calls me. And then in the evening, in the afternoon, he calls me at my lunch at 2 o'clock. Then in the evening, he calls me, like, around 
in the evening he'd call me around like 9 10 ish and then we speak like until the early hours of the morning guys like i said you know when like the relationship is just starting like i said at the moment we hadn't confirmed anything so please they keep that in mind this story is a bit complex yeah bro? so he he's consistent the whole week he does that yeah bro? calls me every single day like every single day we speak around those times yeah bro? and then uh on friday he's like to me hi what are you up to after work it's after work now yeah, i'm like i'm chilling at work he's like okay do you have any other plans i'm like no he's like can i invite you somewhere i'm like sure he's like okay i'm coming to pick you up i'm like okay cool he comes through he fetches me we go to like a an indoor you know indoor soccer like a five a side kind of vibe yeah he takes me there he so he plays five a side yeah well he comes he fetches me we get there it's him and the guy he was with when he followed me literally from randburg to johannesburg um and uh other guys there yeah well then he introduces me formally to this guy. I was like, hi, guy, this is Gamu Gamu, this is Guy. Yeah, well, guy is a Kosa guy. That guy left a bad taste in my mouth about Kosa men, like, honestly speaking. Anyways, uh, he introduces me, hi, guy, this is Gamu Gamu, this is Guy, my friend. And then he introduces me to the rest of the chants that are there. Yeah, well, I was like, hi, this is my man, this is my man. And then he, there's this one guy he leaves behind, like, this guy, after everyone goes to the pitch, he, he says to this guy, friend of his, like, Danga, I want you to meet Ukamu, and I want Ukamu to know that you're my best friend. Yeah, well, he's like, this is my best friend, Uzban Ban. He starts mentioning this guy's name. I'm not going to mention that guy's name. Yeah, well, mentions that guy's name. He's like, yeah, this is my best friend, Kamu. So I want you to know, no matter what, in life, this guy is like my dog of all dogs. Yeah, well, I'm like, oh, hi, best friend. He's like, yeah, hi. I'm like, nice to meet you you know whatever at this point right okay sharp and then they start playing yeah well so when they start playing this friend that i met him while he was with me he's sitting with me on the grandstand so like there was grandstands and i was sitting by the grandstands he's sitting with me by the grandstands but he's not talking to me yeah well he's talking to there was like other guys that were there and stuff that were he's talking to the other guys and i'm like okay granted because i feel like men when they watch soccer you know they are different like versus me when i'm watching i'm just watching and at this point i'm just like i don't know i'm girlfriending i guess i don't know you know what i mean so maybe he's got nothing to say to me but he kept on giving me like weird dirty looks you know it's like he's judging me but at the time i really didn't understand like why does this man hate me so much like what have i done to him you know i don't think i've taken away his friend like that you know yet I haven't taken his friend from him like that yet. I'm going in with red now, guys. Oh, this is gonna eat. I can already see it. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Well, this guy is giving me dirty ass looks. He is, yo, he, he's giving me looks like for days. Like, it's like he hates me, bro. You know, when someone, yo, I don't know if you guys have, have been around people that hate people, he is giving me dirty ass looks. Have you been around mean girls? Yes, he was a mean gent basically with me you know what i mean yeah he was like that guy for me he was so mean like he's giving me dirty looks he's looking at me like he hates me he hates the sight of me i disgust him he wants to throw up uh, this very second like this very moment that i'm there with them he wants to throw up <laughs> Anyway, I mean, I don't care. I'm not there for him, so I really don't care how he's looking at me right now. I continue with my quest of drinking my alcohol. Chill. I'm sitting there drinking my Savannah. You know, my new love interest is playing there, whatever, whatever. Okay, sharp. Then the match is over. Then he takes me home. The drives home, we're chit chatting, you know, and he's giving me all these corny compliments and telling me how beautiful I am. He's never made a girl like me. He's glad he chased after me. Oh my God, bored already. Can we move on? Like, can we get to the point? Can we get to the good part? Like, why are we here? You know what I mean? Okay, he drops me off at home, guys, then I go home. It's Friday, right? This is week one. Remember, please keep that in mind. I met this guy, then i met him on the friday then the saturday we we went for hangover curing then the week went by this is week one friday we hung out at indoor soccer then saturday um 
he says to me he is going to a wedding yeah boom he says to me he's going to a wedding and it's that best friend he introduced me to his wedding yeah boom i'm like okay enjoy while he's at the wedding guys he's sending me pictures of how he looks yeah boom he's sending me pictures of how he looks and these pictures he's sending me it's like only obviously pictures of him alone he's not there's like no one else on the picture showing with him it's just pictures of him alone that he's sending me you know um i'm like wow you look nice you know and Ian is like yeah i wish you were here blah 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 bloody bloody blah you know las 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 yeah he's telling me all those corny things like i wish you were here it's so nice love is a beautiful thing you know blah 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 and okay sharp whatever then the wedding yeah pela saturday sunday again two this is the second sunday now two he's quiet yeah boy um but i'm like okay he sent me pictures he was at a wedding so like later on in the day during on sunday like around like uh, late in the afternoon i'm like let me text him yeah boy since last time he said he was hacked that i didn't even say anything like i kept quiet the whole day yeah boy i'm like okay let me text him let me be nice and text him i send him a text i'm like uh i'm sure you're so tired from the wedding you know uh i hope you're well yeah well <laughs> let me not lie i had caught you know i obviously had caught some feelings there you know i literally caught some feelings there so i sent this message and boom it's quiet crickets all right sharp monday morning again this guy calls me now he calls me at four o'clock crazy as human being like he was a crazy person he calls me at four o'clock just as i'm getting up just as i'm getting up trying to get ready for work this guy calls me and he's like hi come on i'm like yes he's like man i'm so sorry for you yesterday guys every time this man calls me on a monday i know it's an apology like it's time for an apology like he's like i'm so sorry for yesterday princess he used to call me words like princess my doll uh uh oh my god sunshine oh what he used to call me words like that like princess sunshine my doll disgusting if you ask me anyways it's like i'm sorry about yesterday princess uh yo i was so tired when we got back from the wedding you know the chins and i were driving back from wherever wherever like it was outside the province the wedding was outside the province i'm like no i understand it's not a problem he's like no man babe i don't want i don't want this to be a norm you know i don't want this to be a norm way on sundays we don't talk can i make it up to you can we do breakfast today i'm like no problem he's like okay i'm gonna come pick you up and then we're gonna hang out that side he's like i'll come at six o'clock to your workplace so uh let me know when you get to work i'm like cool no problem i, I go to work when i get to work indeed i let him know i'm like i'm at work he's like cool i'm gonna come pick you up i'm like sure thing he comes we go for breakfast he apologized profusely like he apologizes profusely and i'm just like oh my gosh you know what a man what a man man what a man and remember guys when you like someone and you guys are like still in the talking stages and you're really feeling one another like they can never do wrong by you like they're perfect in your eyes you know what i mean like i could never fault this man guys like i could i had to trust and believe the fact that he's so sorry like he's so sorry he didn't mean to fall asleep like i was <laughs> You know what i mean like there's no way i'm not gonna believe this change like i'm gonna believe him because you know what i mean he likes me so much that he keep, like there's no reason for him to lie to me you know i okay sharp um i go back to work then that week again he's consistent does the same thing again yeah boy? he does the same thing again where he just calls me and uh we talk on the phone for hours during the week yeah boy? And then Friday, I call him, um, he fetches me again and I go to the indoor soccer thing again. Yeah, well, I, it's giving wag. Now it's giving wag. You know what I mean? It's giving wag. <laughs> you know? Okay, sharp. So we go to that uh, indoor soccer thingy. Let me see if I've blended nicely, guys. Like, I don't trust my blending these days. Uh, he fetches me again at work and we go to this mat, to this thingy of his, to this indoor soccer thingy of his. And it's giving wag, you know? This friend of his, the closer guy that I absolutely, like, I, I hated him at the time, guys. Like, I really hated him. Um, he sees me again. He's like, oh, hi. Yeah, well, I'm like, hello. And he's like, yeah, you, you hang around a lot. I'm like, this one, the audacity. 
Yes. I'm with my thing. What do we, what do you mean? Like I'm with my thing. Like you know. I'm like, uh, okay, I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, I just giggle, you know. Like when I'm uncomfortable, guys, you'll just hear me giggle, honestly. Like when I'm nervous or when I'm uncomfortable, you'll just hear me giggle, like <laughs> or oh really, you know, or like <laughs> okay. You know, like that's me when I'm uncomfortable. So he says to me, You hang around a lot, like you hang around a lot. I'm like, um, okay. He's like, are you into my boy? I'm like, I don't know what you mean. He's like, no, it's a yes or no answer. That guy was mean. Oh, that man was so mean to me, guys. And you know, at the end of it all, when I understood why this guy was so mean to me, I really was like, oh, now I get it. You know what I mean? But during the time, I really didn't know why that this guy was giving me bad bitch energy. Like, <laughs> He was such a bad bitch towards me like i didn't understand why though like i did not know what i did to this guy like why does he hate me so much you know anyways he's like do you like my boy there's no answer i'm like I, I don't know what to tell you because i don't know from what context you're asking me this question he's like no it's from a context of do you are you feeling my boy you like him yes or no i was like i don't know what to tell you <laughs> i really didn't know how to answer him you know and okay um chapter match finished and then me and bay now well he's not bay yet but like me and this man um we go home yeah bomb uh on the way home this man is like um you know Nam, my boys have been asking me about you yeah, well, i'm like okay he's like yeah my boys are asking me would say like Ubani, like who are you to me and what is it that you and i are doing i forgot to mention while they were playing soccer that this best friend who got married the weekend the previous weekend did he not come to me and say to me ah when where were you um last week saturday why didn't you come to my wedding yeah, well, and i was like to him i never got an invite he's like no man you were supposed to come how my boy was there you know you were supposed to be there too and on that particular weekend guys the wife was there with him what what kind of best friend is this one like what is going on here like what does he say you see this thing of friends wanting to score points for their friends by girls like what is the, how, what like how messed up is that like anyways this the wife was there with this man at the wedding of course because she's his plus one they married never mind plus one they married like she needs to be there Do you get me so anyway on the way home he's like yo you know my boys have been asking me about you and they'd be asking me like what is it that's happening between you and i you know i'm like okay and what were you answering he's like well i told him that the way i see it you are friend zoning me but i really want us to be more than friends yeah, well, i'm like okay you can give it a try yeah well i was like okay cool so we agree that we're dating now right <laughs> remember this is the third week right we agree that we're dating okay cool saturday he contacts me he's like what are you up to i'm like nothing now he's bae now so i'm like nothing bae he's like okay later on my friend has something at guadichaba right there's a place called guadichaba in soweto He's like, my friend has a place called Guadichaba and I would like for you and I to go to this friend's event. Bring your friends because like this is my close friends thing and I'm pretty sure most of the time I'm going to be with the boys. So if like you're going to get bored, so bring a friend or you can bring two, whatever you want. I'm like, okay, thank you, Teddy. So my childhood friend and I were supposed to go out on that particular day. And um, so I hit up, I'm like, friend, listen, remember we're supposed to go out it's fine i've got us covered i've got us sorted we can still go out my childhood friend is like okay perfect i'm like yeah get ready and come to my house she's like okay cool she gets ready she comes guys this guy likes attention so much he got to my house with his car making such a noise outside he was so childish i'm so sorry like nothing about that man grumped or screw married i'm not gonna lie to you like nothing about that man would tell you he's married he was so childish he gets there he makes a noise outside my house guys my mom is standing by the window watching this beyonce i'm doing okay my mom is watching this beyonce by the window and obviously i'm just like yo i'm so embarrassed and i text my mom i'm like i'm so sorry girl like 
I need to do this. I need to do this. Yeah. Um, I just don't want my mom to shout at me like when I come back. Like, what are you doing? You're disrespecting us. Yeah, but because it's my mom. My mom is strict, guys. And she's gone a bit softer now. But yo, she used to be very strict. And I felt like ish, when I come back, I don't like imagine you come back, you're hungover and someone is busy lecturing you. I just wanted to do damage control before I leave, you know. Just so she doesn't say I'm disrespecting them and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, mm -mm. let me talk to my mom now before it's too late so i send my mom a text and i'm like babe i'm so sorry i'll explain when i come back i shop we go okay guys so yeah now uh we go to the chaba and we get to the chaba it's a jump and like he said he knows his friends he's probably not gonna give me attention blah 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 and i really indeed when we got there it's a jump you know obviously he's hanging with his friends i'm hanging with my childhood friend she came with her sister my childhood friend came with her sister so it's just me and her and me and my childhood friend and my sister and her sister sorry yeah well hi right, we're hanging we're hanging yeah well and then the chaba closes i think it was closing at two yeah well and then my bae comes and he's like guys it's like the chaba's finna close now and it's gonna be like a stampede when they close and we're like all rushing out i think let's leave an hour before they close it was around one o'clock like let's leave an hour before they close so that we're not like part of the stampede you know makes sense obviously babe is speaking duh it makes sense you know <laughs> i okay sharp we leave Vele. we go to this house this house not his house this house at this point i know this house is just this house no one said anything to me about it being a particular person's house and in my mind because it's a mansion and it looks like it's a lodge it is so huge i'm seeing a lodge that people can book it is humongous that house was huge when we get to that house it's about 12 of us like there's a convoy of cars and all his friends drive like really big nice cars like they are you know rich kids vibes yeah that was what's up so it's a convoy we get to this house we get to this house it's like 12 of us oh it could have been more honestly i can't really remember and we get there we're chilling we're chilling we play there's like drinking games that are happening you know in some parts there's two by twos you know it's like a house party a full-on house party now the music is on snacks are flowing they brian meet outside it's like a full-on house party i'm like why didn't we do this like like the thing about me and going out it's, it's another story but like yeah anyways <laughs> i'm like but why didn't we do this like from the onset like why did we even have to go to the chava like but anyways uh yeah so we do that um they they bring meat outside some parts of the house is two by two plus i'm with my team because i haven't been with my team the whole night you know i hadn't been with my team the whole night so now it's time for me and my team to bond like what the hell brah like you've been in my anyway we're bonding we're bonding we're bonding we're chilling guys it's now like half past three yeah more in the morning and he's like you know what babe i'm scared of sleeping because if i sleep your chances are i'm not gonna wake up and you know i've got church in the morning yeah well i'm like okay cool so what do we do now He's like, I don't know, let's just chill here on the couch. Because we're chilling on the couch and we're busy talking. He's like, let's go, um, let's go to another room. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go to this room. It's like his man cave, right? But remember, like I said, he hadn't told me that this is his house. It's like a man cave. So if you know a man cave, it's like it's got like a a, a buff ridge and it's got like consoles, you know, like the, where they play, they have PlayStation and stuff like that, and a pool table, and like a long ass brown couch, you know, like a big brown couch like that. Yeah, well, when we get to that man cave, it's it's a like the house is an open plan, you know, like there's no door for the man cave. It's just you walk, it's a long passage, and you get into the man cave. There's no doors or anything like that, you know what I mean? So we get to the man cave, and he's like, let's sit here for a while, and hopefully, you know, I don't fall asleep and we're just gonna chat yeah but i'm like okay cool we sit in that main cave when we get to the main cave there's a picture of a girl on the stand like because there's a tv right where there's the consoles and stuff then there's a like there's a picture of a girl like a small small and a girl yeah but there's a picture of a girl there and i i don't know now why i'm going to whose house is this you know what i mean like i didn't ask him whose house is this or whatever i see a picture of a girl there and stuff like that so we're just chilling there and 
he he falls asleep on my lap he was laying on like i was sitting up right and he would recline the seat like this because the couches were recliners we reclined the seat and then he was his head was on my lap yeah boy and we were busy talking we were busy talking then he fell asleep um and then he fell asleep and i i think i closed my eyes and then Papa it's like five o'clock and at five o'clock he said he needs to get ready so I wake him up, I'm like, dude, it's five o'clock. He's like, fuck. Okay, let's go, let's go. I need to go now. Like, let me drop you and your friends off, yeah, bro. I'm like, okay, cool. My friends are sitting there, they're sleeping as well on the couches. I'm like, I wake them up, I'm like, girls, let's go. Okay, shop, we go. He drops us off, yeah, bro. Sunday morning, right? He drops us off. He's quiet the whole day. But now it starts to eat me because remember now we're in a relationship. This is the fourth week, right? Now we're in a relationship. It's starting to eat me. Wooty. Like he's quiet again, like on a Sunday. You know what I mean? But I'm like, Ish, but I don't know. Maybe he's like this church thing. Like that means he's a club and by his son. But the thing is, I also go to church. So why is it a problem that when he's at church, when he comes back, he can't speak to me? Like what's going on here? But I didn't want to look too much into it because I really believe that when he comes back from church, he's really just tired. You know? Ah, okay same thing happens sunday is quiet monday same story apologies sorrows sorrows prayers <laughs> on monday morning it's sorrows sorrows prayers okay he explains he explains and he's like on thursday remember he had never made any advances of me sleeping over or anything like that so he's like on thursday come and sleep over yeah, well, ah, now i'm excited i'm like finally it's time for that ww action <laughs> yeah well, he's like on thursday come and sleep over i'm like okay cool i was glad that he's being a gentleman with me because he had not made any advances of us actually going to sleep together you know and i was like he's taking it slow wow what a gentleman i was happy and the thursday corner i go to work right so what i did was i packed my my overnight bag like as i go to work i go i went to work with my overnight bag yeah <laughs> i went to work with my overnight bag and yeah so thursday after work he fetches me we go we get dinner we get dinner then we get to that house again i'm like hi man we were here last week saturday he's like yeah i'm like what is this house like whose house is this he's like it's my house i'm like so why didn't you tell me last week that this is your house he's like didn't i not tell did i not tell you i'm like no you didn't you know he's like oh really i thought i did though i'm like no you didn't tell me this is your house he's like what difference was it gonna make i'm like i would have known that this is your house don't you think it's important like are we not in a relationship he's like yeah we are i'm like well okay it's it's whatever because me in my head i'm thinking my man needs to tell me this is my house so he needs to walk me around and show me rooms and you know make me comfortable you know what i mean but obviously not in this case because he knew he's got something to hide um we go to bed shop the next morning i go to work and you know <laughs> i go to work right it's friday and then on this Friday, he fetches me again. You know, work vibes. We go back to that place of his, that indoor soccer place of his, right? We're there, we're there, we're there. And his friend is giving me weird vibes again, guys. Like, this guy hated me. Oh, I think about that man. He hated. He hated me. And yeah, he hated me. Okay, he's giving me weird vibes. But now this time around, I'm like, no, I'm going to tell my man because I don't like this guy and I don't like these vibes. So I decided to tell my man, I'm like, babe, you know your friend, I don't think he likes me too much. He's like, but why, yabo? Yeah, well, during their break at, at, at the practice, yabo, yeah, well, I tell my mans, I'm like, mans, this guy of yours, your friend, I don't think he likes me too much. The way he looks at me is so creepy. You know, he looks at me from, I don't know, like, I, like, if I, like I would tell you if I felt like it's like a, I desire you type of look. It's not. Like, it's a, I hate you type of look. Like, he looks at me like I'm such a disgusting human being. I really have no idea what I've done to him. He's like, must I talk to him? I'm like, no, don't. But I was just letting you know that. Like, I don't think I want to come back here again. Like, with this indoor thing. I like coming here and, you know, being here with you and Mariba. But your friend mm, gives me weird vibes. Yeah, And, okay, sharp. The game progresses. They play, they play, they play. Whatever, whatever, whatever. 
and then it's time to go my man comes to me and he says to me babe i know you just spoke to me about my friend and whatever but i have an emergency and i'm not gonna be able to drop you off today please can my friend drop you off i'm like you're not gonna do that to me he's like please i'm like why can't you drop me off and then attend to your emergency because like how do you want your friend to drop me off i, to I just told you that your friend literally looks at me with so much hate like he looks at me like i'm disgusting like how do you put me in that position now he's like sorry guys one thing about this man he could apologize like he could apologize profusely like you will forgive this man one thing about you you will forgive him he apologizes and he's like i'm so sorry to put you through this i know you just complained about him but i really need him to drop you off and i will explain to you everything tomorrow or something but right now i really have an emergency and i've got to run you know i'm like okay cool no problem whatever you know when i get into the car i i put on my headsets guys like i just did not have the time to entertain this man because i was really mad i was really really mad at my man for putting me through this you know what i mean like i just explained to you how your friend makes me feel you want to want him to drop me off like really you know um i'm not talking to this guy i put my headsets on and we go on the way home I am not talking to this guy and my headsets are on. When we get to my hood, I don't even want him to see where I live. I ask him to drop me off at the corner. He's like, do you live? Where do you live? I'm like, I live here. He's like, but where's your house? I'm like, yeah, I get off. I'm like, thanks for the ride. Get off. And I go home. Yeah, boom. I'm so mad. Like, I'm so, so mad. I don't want anything to do with this change. You know what I mean? It's Friday. Remember, it's Friday. And as per usual, Friday, I hang with this guy and they play their thingy until like at 10 o'clock in the evening but on this particular day they played until like 7 8 yeah, then he told me about this emergency then this guy dropped me off in the corner when i got to the corner i called my friend bridget my, my, my party buddy i called bridget i'm like bridget where are you bridget's like i'm at banzo babe i'm like babe please come and fetch me bridget's like anything for you my doll bridget comes and she fetches me and we go back to Banzos, you know, we're hanging at Banzo, we're partying, we're partying a storm. How, guys, my guy calls me. My guy calls me. Um, Babe, where are you? I'm like, I'm at Banzos. He's like, okay, I'm coming. I'm like, okay, cool. Yabo? Remember the first time he came to Banzos, he... he guys, he didn't even stay for, like, like, five minutes was too long. He got in and he saw the vibes and he said he's going, he can't. He got to Banzo's, this man is like, where is the bar? The bar is right at the door as he walks in. I show him the bar. He goes to the bar. He orders Heineken, I think. I think he was drinking Heineken. He orders like a six pack of Heineken. And then he orders like 20 shots, I think. Like he ordered like 20 shots. Yeah, bro? He brings the shots too. Bridget was sitting with um, our other colleagues. Yeah, bro? it was Bridget and our other colleagues. Then I came in and I joined. So I think it was like four of us. Then, you know, my man's comes. My man's comes and he joins us. And he buys like 20 shots. Yeah, well. And he's like, guys, here are some shots. He goes in first. And this guy was not really like a, a heavy drinker at the time. Like, well, then, I don't know. But like, he was not really heavy on, on the bottle. You know what I mean? He wasn't really heavy. So he goes in. And he's now chilling at Banzo with me. And he firstly took the shots, then he downed his first Heineken, downed his second Heineken, you know. He hasn't said a word to me. He's just standing there drinking, you know what I mean? Because at Banzo's, you can't really sit down. Like, it was a stampede every day. So you couldn't really sit down. So he's just standing there and drinking his life away, like, sorrow, sorrows, prayers. Like, he's drinking so heavily, you know. Sorry, and it's so loud there, like, talking to people while you're at Banzo's was extreme sports, please. You had to shout, like, you had to shout at the top of your voice. So I'm like, what's up? Like, what's wrong? He's like, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, you know, I'm okay. What are you guys on here? What are you guys on here? What are you guys doing? I'm like, yo, we're smoking weed and drinking, darling. Like the usual, what we usually do when we're here. So he's like, give me some weed, give me some weed. Like it's it's like he's trying to numb something, guys. He's trying to numb some pain. Like, yo, he was going hard at it. Like he was going hard at it. Okay, anyways, um, 
after all this drama that he's just pulled here in front of me that I'm not sure of, he's like, can can we can we talk, please? I'm like, oh, okay. That sounds serious, mm, you know. <laughs> and guys, one thing about me, guys, I can't be serious to save my life. Like one thing about me, <laughs> seriousness. I don't know. It escaped my body a long time ago. Like I think as a kid, seriousness is something that just escaped my body. Anyways, uh, he's like, "Can we talk, please? Can we go outside and talk?" I'm like, "Okay, cool." We go outside. So we're walking. I'm walking behind him. And I can see his hand has a ring, right? He Remember, he has not had a ring ever since I met him. Like, every time I see him, he did not have a ring. So suddenly, there's a ring on his finger. I'm walking behind him, he's walking. But I'm thinking, ah, gents wear rings as, like, aesthetics for deco. Even there's girls that wear rings on their left fingers. So I'm really not, you know, I'm not paying mind to it too much. I'm like, I, let me not pay too much attention to this whole thing. He probably just has that ring for deco vibes you know right okay we get to his car outside um the place the advance on and he starts with the touchy speeches you know i love you and um you know we're having a good run we're really having a good run you know and um i really love you and you make me happy you complete me you know the the mushy stuff guys like <laughs> All the mushy stuff that people say when they're about to bloody break up with you. I'm thinking this guy thinks we're in the movies. I'm like, um, you're being extra weird and I'm gonna need you to stop, get to the point. What's this about, you know? He's like, uh, come on. I'm married, dude. Guys, remember I had fallen, right? Yeah, I was in. I was in so deep. I was in. I felt my I felt my kidney move down my esophagus right into my anus. Honestly speaking, at that point, I was like, I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, man, like I'm married, dude. Like, and nothing. Listen to what this man says to me. He says, I'm married, and nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna separate me from my wife. Now, this comes across as if I said to him he must divorce his wife. Did I even know he's married? Let's start there. I'm like, okay, and you saw it for to tell me now why? He's like, no, man, I just thought I'd, I'd let you know because it's, it's been eating me alive. I'm like, after you've gotten everything you wanted from me and you think it's okay for you to tell me this, you're a disgusting man. I walk away from him. He tries to grab me. I'm like, I'll scream. I will scream and say, say, look, Shinda, we are in the ghetto, bruh. If I scream and I say, you're trying to arm me, they're going to come for you. So let me go. Don't do this, Gamu. Please, can we talk? I'm like, no. We're not going to talk. You've done all the talking you needed to do. Let me go. Let me go have fun with my friends. Eba, I go inside. And now I'm like to Bridget. Bridget, friend. We're going hard tonight. <laughs> We're going hard tonight. Like, I just found out these shit news. Like, what the hell does this guy think he is? Like, why would this guy do this to me? You know what I mean? I was hurt. Yo, I was so hurt. Okay, sharp. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, I go to work, right? I'm at work, guys. Minding my business. Working, working, working. And then I receive a text, right? And this text... So, like I said, my 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 thing, my man's name was Sibusiso, right? And his surname, let's say, was Ndlovu, right? Let's say his surname was Ndlovu. I get a text, and this text is from a particular Mrs. Let's give a name to this lady. Let's say her name was Garabo. I get a, name, a, a message from a particular Mrs. Garabo Ndlovu. So she, this lady goes, Hi, um, Gamu. I know you don't know me. 
but um i needed to talk to you about i'm paraphrasing because i really can't remember the, the, the but i remember just i froze like when i saw because she said hi Kamu. my name is reverend garabo Nzuf. when when she said reverend garabo Nzuf, ne? i said garabo Nzuf. i said Nzuf is listening. what's happening okay and then she moves to say, yes, yeah, so I know you don't know me, but I am, I just wanted to find out something from you. I see there's a lot of calls um, between you and my husband. Guys, then it made sense. You know when this guy told me he's married now? Because I had seen the ring, I just felt like, did he get married today? Or that wedding that he had said he was attending, maybe was it his? You know what I mean? Like a lot of things came to my mind at the time, but... This text just puts so many things into perspective for me. Like, it's like, this is uh, Reverend Karabon Zovo. And I know you don't know me. You know, it's, I'm coming to you as a woman type of vibe here. <laughs> right? I know you don't know me. So I've been seeing that you and my husband are texting one another back and forth like several times. So I just wanted to find out what is happening. About me. Guys, I, I, I felt like, wow, revenge couldn't have not come at a better place. I am going to sing like a bird, okay? I'm going to sing. I am going to spill the beans, you know? But something in me also said, this lady is going to hurt over this man's shenanigans. And I don't know her like that. And I obviously owe her no loyalties. But I wouldn't want to have someone else feel like that because of me, you know? I wanted to sing. Hey, I want to be like, man, your man, your man, your man, ma'am, followed me all the way from Jersey, all the way from Renberg to, to, to Jersey. Can you imagine an entire married man? And he lured me in and he didn't tell me that you exist. Like, I wanted, guys, I wanted to go in for the kill. Like, I wanted to go in for the kill. I wanted to sing like a bird. <laughs> One thing about me, I wanted to sing. Like, I wanted to sing. I wanted to sing, but I had to think quick, you know, I had to think quick because I was just like, I'm not that girl, like, I'm not that person, I'm not spiteful, I'm not, I'm not vindictive, like, I'm not gonna seek revenge in the worst way possible, do you understand, this is someone's home and whatever, this man has done, this, whatever he's done is wrong, it's completely wrong, he should not have done that, but I'm not gonna be the one to break up a happy home type of thing, you know, I don't know what goes on in their house, he didn't tell me anything about her, you know, whatever the case is. So I'm not going to be the one to break it down to her that your man is a cheat and your man is disgusting because he told me nothing about you. Do you get what I mean? I had to think quick. I had to think quick. And I was like, fuck, Ganja, this man owns a car dealership. So I was like, no. Um, oh, hi, Reverend. Mr. Ndogo is helping me to get a car from his garage. Guys. <laughs> The Lord understands my position, like why I had to lie. You know what I mean? Like anyone else can come in charge and be like, but you should have told her, whatever, whatever. This guy deserved to be exposed. Or at that time, I just thought for this lady, I was like, poor lady. She has like, honestly, she, she shouldn't bear the brunt of this man's stuff. You understand what I mean? It's so embarrassing. Like it's, as a reverend, your husband is actually doing such things and it made sense why this guy every sunday would be awol because the wife is a reverend at church and you obviously have to be there every sermon or whatever and okay so i tell her that no like this guy is help like your husband is helping me get a car and i'm trying to get a car from his garage so that's probably why the back and forth calls but yeah that's that's just really it we're just doing business you know and she also apologizes profusely for the ambush. She just wanted to know because she understands that the man is in business, but our calls are quite strange because we also call each other at the odd hours of the day. So she says to me. So I'm like, no, um, Mr. Love gave me the go ahead to call him at that time. So that's what I was really doing because, you know, I'm dealing with him. So he gave me the permission to call him at that time. But now I understand. Um, maybe you should take it up with him. You know, that's where I left it. And then she's like, okay, thank you. But this lady became a creep because after that conversation, she goes and she follows me on Instagram. And I'm like, you see, now this is going to be a problem for me because I've given this lady the information she needs. Why is she on my Instagram now? Like, what is she trying to see now? You know what I mean? And 
after i noticed that she's on my instagram i blocked her like immediately i blocked her and i was like you see i've done everything i can to try and protect this guy from possible divorce <laughs> i don't know how bad it was in the household to be honest i'm not gonna say possible divorce because i don't know what was gonna happen had i sang had i sang had i said listen my sister that the way to <laughs> And I said that the way to, I don't know what was going to happen. You know what I mean? But I just really didn't want to be the, that the way to one. I didn't want to be the one to blow the whistle on this guy, you know? So, um, I felt like I've done, I've given this lady the information she needed from me. There's absolutely no need for her to follow me on my socials. So I'm going to block her. And if she questions why I blocked her, she'll question her husband, not me, not me. And if it gets him into trouble now, I've done my part. You know, I've done my part to bloody cover up for him because this is bloody a cover up. You know what I mean? I was supposed to tell you, this lady that your man is a scam. Scam. Anyways, um, okay, so we leave it there. This man calls me um, two or three days later. I'm not sure. I can't remember. He calls me, you know, and he's thanking me. Come on. It's very rare, a woman like you. <laughs> women like you are very rare. Women like you are very, very rare. You know, um, if it was anyone else, because of out of spite, you could have told my wife everything. You could have told my wife everything, but you chose not to. You chose to be big and you chose to be mature about it. I appreciate you so much. I really appreciate you. Come can I please see you? I really want to talk to you, dude. Like, we can't end things off like this, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, please leave me alone. Like, please leave me alone. Like, what, whatever, if you think I did this for you, you're wrong. I did not do this for you. I did this because I don't want your wife to understand what kind of a malicious man you are, what kind of a scumbag you are. Leave me alone. Because if you don't leave me alone, then you leave me like no choice. Now I'm going to have to contact her and tell her about your interactions with me now. So you, you better leave me alone now. Yeah. You know? And I told my, my childhood friend, my childhood friend was like, friend, you see this guy in there, he wanted, like, you should have extorted money from him, like, you should have, like, like, blackmail him. Every time he comes at you sideways, throw that card at him, like, throw that card at him. Or you should have asked him, you should have said to him, listen, your wife just contacted me, send me money, or I'm telling her the truth. I'm like, wait, no, bruh. Like, you never know what happens in people's lives, guys. Like, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I would never do that. Like, how am I gonna, like, friend, like, she was funny. I found that funny that she wants me to do that. Like, how do I extort money from someone? Like, guys, what the hell? It's obviously getting dark, so I had to switch on my softbox lights. And then, uh, that's how that ended. And then like this guy you know what he does this guy had some nerve you know after the whole breakup okay so after that right his friend contacted me like i think a month or two later the guy that absolutely could not stand me the guy that is always like looking at me funny and saying funny things to me like passing funny comments my way now this guy says hi sorry to bother you i got your number from homeboy like yeah well he mentions this guy's name yeah well, i'm like what do you want <laughs> like i was mad at everyone at this point but this guy really had no business calling me or contacting me because he hated me you know what i mean well that's what i thought yeah well he's like sorry um i know you probably want nothing to do with me or him or anyone that he knows or anyone that he's around but can i talk to you yeah well I'm like, dude, about what? Like, like, what do you want to talk to me about? Like, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but I'm mad, guys. I'm mad. Like, that guy in there, like I said, I was already falling. Or I had fallen. So, whatever happened made me mad. Rightfully. Thank you. So, he's like, guy, dude, like, I don't want you to think he sent me here. Even though, yes, I got your number from him. Uh... I wanted to say I'm sorry about what happened and I know that it didn't sit well with you and I know that um, it hurt you a lot and he hurt you a lot and I just really wanted to apologize. I'm like, 
what do you stand to gain by apologizing because you didn't like me from the onset he's like yeah you're right i didn't like you because i was judging you i thought how do you continue with homeboy knowing that homeboy is married i'm like i didn't know that he's like i only learned that now like he's like i only learned that now like only now does homeboy tell me that you did not know that he was married i'm like so yeah it's okay dude like it's okay this conversation also i don't see why it's happening so it's okay like i get it <laughs> you know he's like mm -mm. no like i really want to apologize on his behalf and the thing is he's been talking about you know stuff i'm like you see this is a problem he sent you here he's like no he didn't i'm like yeah he did he gave you my number so you can come here and lie again for him so that i can forgive him that's not okay so you people need to leave me alone honestly <laughs> I was like, no, I just wanted to tell you. Like, he's very really sorry. He's really, really sorry. Gamo. And I know you're not going to forgive him. He did say that you're like mad. Like, you're like big mad. And you're never going to forgive him. But he really apologizes. And he, he, he didn't send me here. But I just wanted to tell you that that man loves you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, that's one guy. I'm just like, this guy this guy he's like you don't deserve that treatment like i told him that he fumbled he fumbled and when i tell you this man is apolog he's apologizing for his friend and at the same time he's asking like he's also making advances he's like no but like where are you let me come and see you maybe we can talk about this um in person i'm like no he's like no like i really want to be there for you i think i judged you and Gandhi, now where you didn't know, I think I judged you. I'm like, you don't even have to come and be there for me. I'm there for myself. Your friend can actually go to the nearest hell. Tell the devil I'm definitely not well because of his behavior. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, you are thinking like how most people think. The only way to get over a dick is to get under another one. Like, no, babe. We don't do those things around here. So well, afterwards, okay, after his friend's phone call and everything, and I told the friend off, I'm like, like, you need to leave me alone as well. Your friend, your friend is, is, is a cuck of a person and I'm done with him, you know, like I'm done with him and he knows that I'm done with him and I'm happy to move on and I'm happy to also act like this phone call never happened because I'm good without your friend in my life and he's, oh boy, he's good without me in his life too because, you know, whatever <laughs> whatever so after that call um a couple of months i think went by guys this man started becoming a pest in my life he started harassing me like this guy this guy is so weird i never blocked him on my whatsapp so i'd post pictures of myself you know like as usual because this is my platform and i don't need permission from anyone to post it's mine you know what i mean i'd post like pictures of myself and he would comment on them he'd be like i miss you so much come on, can i see you and stuff like that and stuff like that so it started becoming a little bit too much you know like yo he started becoming so annoying and then i blocked him like i blocked his number yeah well i blocked his number on my whatsapp and i just really moved on with my life right then he pops up again like randomly on my on my instagram yeah well he's like hi Gamu. um i'll never forget about you Gamu. i'm like what the hell bro like this guy you are he needs to leave me alone i'll never forget about you Gamu. um look look guys the time our love was still on on fire right the time our love was still on fire he there was a time he had said to me um, when I'm done with my license, he is going to give me one of his one of the cars in the dealership. So he had asked me what's my favorite car. And I said my favorite car was, that was my favorite car. It still is. Like, I feel like I'm going to drive that car one day in my life. I really am going to drive that car one day in my life. It's a polo. Uh, what do you call this polo? Like, it's a R-liner. Golf GTI. Like an R-liner. I think that's what they call it. Like call it, they call it Arlina or Arline, something like that. Like that polo, yeah. Well, I'm like, that's my favorite car. Once upon a time, we were speaking like as a couple, yeah. Well, and he had said to me, that's the car he's gonna give me when I'm done with my license, yeah. Well, and then he said to me, um, he said that to me, yeah. Well, so in this Instagram thing he sent me, this DM he sends me, he's like to me, 
Kamo, I haven't forgotten my promise to you and I feel like if it's, this is the last thing I do for you, can I please just get you this car? I'm like, this guy, what a piece of ass, guys. Like, what a piece of ass. You want to get me the car now? Why didn't you get me the car while we're still together? Even if I didn't have a license at that time, get it for me. Let it stay a car. Let the car be corner a car. It's not your business, Witty. I can't drive. When I learn how to drive, my car will be waiting for me, you know. Why does he want to get me in the car now, guys? I was so tempted. I was so tempted. Like, you can be tempted. Like, you really can be tempted. But at the time, I was just like, these are tears of another woman. And a married woman, I believe so strongly that married people, guys, have strong, strong ancestral ties. Not to say people that are not married don't have ancestral ties. We do too, right? We do too. But with married people, it's so tricky. Like, I don't want to interfere with their stuff, bruh. Like, yo, uh-uh. Already seeing yeah, like I'm telling you your over to be quite honest. Like everything is just capping us, everything is moving us. The cost of living is so expensive. You know, <laughs> everything is increasing in price except of salaries. Then I want to in the mix bring married people. Like you are uh, what bad luck is this? You know what I mean? He sent me this message and he's like to me, please, if it's the last thing I do for you, please when you get when you get your license, let me know so I can get you this car. And then you can cut all ties with me like he started being a little bit obsessive like he started being a little bit obsessive and a little bit uncomfortable you know and at the time because like after he broke what after he did that obviously like i'm just like i need to go back to the streets okay because this is not it this is not it this thing of being committed like it's not it it's not great i need to go back to the streets so i went back to the streets because that's where he found me in the streets okay he found me single so there's this guy that i started like seeing you know, like a lot like this guy and i would go out a lot like we used to party like no one's business this guy and i like this guy was you know we used to party a lot so he started bothering me with my new thing like this guy was starting to be so obsessive with me it was crazy so he starts to party around my area he goes to banzo i stopped going to banzo because of this man trust me this man was starting to stalk me like what the hell is all of this you know what i mean and at the time remember i blocked the wife's number on my phone i even deleted that message she sent me i blocked on my instagram and i was just like no okay no actually this is creepy af creep creeps creeps these people are creepy both of them are very creepy to me so now i've got a new thing like i've got a new thing in my life and this new thing is really moving up the ranks you know like this new thing is moving up the ranks he's good that man was so good to me guys like he and bonus he was moneyed rich kid but he was rich he was a rich learned kid like he was in varsity i think at the time you know and this man and i liked going out salons and stuff like this so this one i think he had gotten like an indication what's he where do i party and stuff like that so, there's this time we were sitting at hurricanes there's a place called hurricanes this guy comes like i'm sitting with my ting my new ting you know i'm sitting with my new ting and you know we're drinking we're having fun you know it's vibes this married man comes and he's like so this is how you replaced me huh this is this is this your standards now like I leave you and this is what you is this your comeback i'm like <laughs> guys i was so embarrassed i was like no this is not happening actually this no ways this is not my life right now like what i'm just there i'm like please leave me alone like please leave me alone he's like um, can i talk to you bro like just give me a chance to talk to you. Like, like just let me talk to you you know my new thing is like no go talk to him babe go here not i'm like no bro like don't make me go i don't want to talk to this gent. like i don't want to talk to this guy like this guy and i are done we are finished i'm finished we're finished i'm not going to talk to this guy my gent is like go talk to him babe like go give him the closure he needs that guy was so, he was a zulu man man he was so humble he was so humble and down to earth and i was just like no i'm not doing that i'm not gonna go talk to this guy this guy can go suck a dick for all i care i don't want to talk to him we've done all the talking we needed to do i'm done my new guy is feeling all sorts of pressure because now this one has thrown shade my new guys are popping listen it was just me and my new guy right at this place he went and he bought champagne at hurricane i'm like guy like is this not necessary like chill out he went he bought champagne he went and he bought um 
Hennessy, I'm like, we're gonna get so drunk, like it's not gonna be funny. Like, why is he doing this? He went and he literally filled the table. He was just trying to make this guy understand that you're not gonna come talk to me like a small boy, boy. He went and he filled the table up and it was just a whole thing. And I was just like, yo, bruh, people from the hood are looking at me like, yeah, come and I was just like, yo. <laughs> but guys, back then I used to live my life. Like I did not care what who thought. I feel like I'm still like that, but obviously I've been grown. So like that kind of attention would definitely put me off. At that time, I was just like, do your thing, baby. I ain't even mad. Do your thing, baby. I ain't even mad. You know what I mean? But now I'm just like, oh my God, I would definitely like cut ties with him same time he does all of that crap. And this guy, my new thing, guys, like I think men are so embarrassing. My new thing ended things with me and said to me, um, his dad is not going to approve of me since I only have my trick. I said, if there's a time to further my studies, this would be it but please give me the funds to continue with my studies because like how do you say that to me like guys i just got a heartbreak someone told me they married i didn't know they were married now you're coming to me to tell me that your dad would not approve of me as your girlfriend because i don't have any further education other than matric i never felt so stupid like i was like huh like two heartbreaks in a space of like at least it was like two or three months bro like it was two or three months or in a space of like two or three months i've got like two rejections like what what <laughs> that guy said to me my dad would not approve of you even if i were to bring you home and say you're my girlfriend solely based on the fact that you only have matric level and and you know what do you bring to the table would be the question even though i would take care of you and everything and i was just like so am i dating your dad or am i dating you he's like obviously me but like my dad and i was just like yo yeah is this the standards i need to be in school in order for your dad to like me like if i don't have any other education other than matric your dad won't like me and you can't fight for me definitely in the wrong place like what the hell you know anyways yes that's how i found out that this guy was married and he started being a stalker he started annoying me and making funny gestures but he stopped like eventually he stopped but i think it ate him up the fact that i was now with this gent and this gent it's sort of like this gent almost looked like him to be quite honest because that's like my type tall dark handsome you know <laughs> that's like my vibes you know so i think he felt like he felt like he's being replaced and he didn't think that i would like move on so quickly because i was like dude i was single bro and i was mingling as i should because i was single do you know what i mean like i was going on dates i was chatting to a few guys like i i really my options were open do you know what i mean because i was not committed to anyone so i had the right to do that so as soon as you showed me your true colors i went back to the streets where you found me baby where you found me i went back to the streets okay that's that on that um yeah man thank you so much guys for watching i hope you did enjoy my little story time with the sunset cut crease i think i ate as per usual <laughs> <laughs> i think i ate as per usual i absolutely love it um uh yeah that's how it looked i paired it with my um eyelashes from shein i think they make my eyes look a bit slimmer or smaller they absolutely snatched and my nose today came to the party um everything just worked out fine not too excited about the hair. I think I sprayed it too much, especially the side. There's a little bit of glue still showing, but that's fine because I'm not really going anywhere. I look like I'm about to go and rob the bank with this outfit, but I'm indoors and I just wanted to give you the story time while I achieve my face. Thank you so, so much for tuning into my story time. I hope to see you guys again on my next video. Please don't forget to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe on the channel.